and this is my revised solar setup um, I spent all winter fixing it up so I just wanted to show it off and let you know what I've added to it okay over here I added a meter um, pretty much it tells me the wattage of the panels uh, I don't know how accurate it is, but um, that that just tells me what wattage I'm bringing in. Um, it also tells me the amperage. Tells me the voltage of the batteries right now, and just goes back to wattage again. Under here is a Zantrac Light Link battery monitor. Tells me the percentage, 100%, which that could be off to. Um, the voltage and the amperage of what's going into the batteries. Eventually, I might get one of those trimetric systems. I think they're better than that, but. Um, for now, that's what I got as far as meters go. I got a Outback charge controller. I got um, I took out the Zantrac one. Um, this one has the MPPT tracking and all that fun stuff. Um, that other Zantrac one did not. But, um, pretty much it, um, it tells you, um, what's going in, what's going out, the amperage, um, this doesn't tell you the wattage, that's why I bought that, this guy right here, figured it would help me out with the, how much wattage is going in here, um, next, um, these are the existing um, Sandtrack 1800 watt. Um, these only are for the 20 amp circuits. Um, pretty much one for each uh, refrigerator, freezer, and then uh, the outlets are uh, divided up amongst the, both of them. Um, down here is the switches for the, um, it's got the 5000 watt inverters from China under there that's just an option if I want to kick them on I could do that um, the transfers are right here two transfers goes into this panel but instead of that I got the Zantrac Pro Watt 2000 inverter which goes up to my APC sub panel. It's a transfer uh, sub panel. Um, it's not a quick transfer. It um, takes a few seconds. Power shuts down, and then it it waits a couple. Um, I think about 15 seconds, and then it kicks back on again. And that's because of um, because of linemen. They get killed if you you get back fit if you get the back feed. And they're working on the lines, and they get that back feed. Um, that's that's the purpose be behind that. And there's no way around that. That's just the way that it is. Um, this I built. This is a Harbor Freight um, charge controller. I gutted it out of the original box, and I put it in this. And I added. Um, this is an adapter for the USB. This for some reason does not work. This I just blanked off. It does not work. Um, I added a cigarette um, um, outlet there for, for more charging features. Um, this switch right here, this um, is a touch switch. This turns on some blue lighting for a little bit of mood in the solar room. I'll turn that out turn that back on um, I also um, this is a sticker this I um, just 
you know, I pasted it all, um, it just stuck it on everything. It looks like diamond plate, but really it's a sticker. Um, um, this is a new addition. This is a 1200 watt uh, Gratide inverter, which that that's the switch for that switches between <sighs> grid tie and um, battery or both but um, I think I tried that and it, it cancels each other out for some reason um, this is the new kilowatt um, meter with the timer I bought that because um, this grid tie inverter tends to buzz and um, it buzzed even at night. It just constantly buzzes and it's kind of annoying. So I did that. So it just kills the power when I'm not using it. Um, I'm going to kick that over right now to grid tie. And it will um, spike up. This is about 12.30 noon right now. And these are all Harbor Freight panels. There are uh, they're about 20 Harbor Freight panels out there hooked up into parallel so that's what's going back into the grid right now just just off of this um, grid tie inverter um, this is that was my iPhone down there by the way and this um, I will just charge it up. Right now we're uh, we got some low batteries because so I did the um, I did the hour. I shut everything down for an hour yesterday, so I'm just trying to charge the batteries. This um, APC does um, all the 15 amp circuits, and I'm just gonna click through here. This uh, tells you some useful information um, about how much wattage is um, coming out of each circuit. And the circuit one has no watts. Circuit two has got 18 watts. Circuit three, um, about 93. Circuit four, about 45. Circuit five, about 75. Circuit six got nothing. Circuit seven's got nothing. Circuit eight's got nothing. Circuit nine's got nothing. And back to circuit one again. And um, that will always say um, that the UPS is on and that I constantly keep that plugged in to the 200 watt, or 2000 watt, excuse me, inverter. Um, it doesn't draw a lot of power unless there's power being pulled out of it. So I keep it on all the time. Um, and I'll do another video of me shutting it down and I'll show you it kicks back on and everything. Um, but yeah, that's that.